Hey YouTube, Commander Tech here. In this video, I'll be doing benchmarks and speed tests of the iPhone 4 versus the 4S versus the 5. So here I have the iPhone 4, the iPhone 4S, and the iPhone 5. Now these both have the exact same contents on them. All three of them have the iOS 6. All three of them have the exact same backup restored and they're going to have the exact same apps open. So starting off the speed test, we're going to turn them all off. And finally the iPhone 5. So now we're going to go ahead and turn them all on. And finally we have the iPhone 4. So now we're going to slide and unlock all of them. So now I'm going to go ahead and open up Geekbench on all three phones at the same time. So, so now we have Geekbench running on all three phones. Now we have system information from Geekbench. We have the iPhone 4, the iPhone 4s, the iPhone 5. They're all running iOS 6. The iPhone 4 and the iPhone 4s have 505 megabytes of RAM. And the iPhone 5 has 116 megabytes of RAM. The processor is the A4 on the iPhone 4, the A5 on the iPhone 4s, and the a6 processor on the iPhone 5. The 4s and the 4 is an 800 megahertz processor where the where the iPhone 5 has a 1.3 gigahertz processor. So we're going to go ahead and run Geekbench on all of them and then I'll come back with the results. So here are the results for the iPhone 4, the iPhone 4s, and the iPhone 5. These are the results that these phones get and you can see the huge difference uh, from each iPhone now these are the last three generations of iPhones now uh, we went from a pretty decent jump from um, the iPhone 4 for the iPhone 5 in terms of hardware and the iPhone 5 was a huge jump now you can see that the iPhone 5 is more than double the speed of the iPhone 4s and the iPhone 4S was a very fast phone compared to the iPhone 4. So the next, te next test we're going to do is a speed test. Now this isn't going to be totally accurate because it's going to rely on my internet connection. However, my internet connection is basically steady. So I'm going to open up speed test on all the uh, iPhones. And then I'm going to begin it on the iPhone 4, go on the iPhone 4s, and then go on the iPhone 5. So each of them get a fair chance. Now the Wi-Fi test from, speed, from the speed test app basically shows that the results are basically the same. We got 64 megabyte, 0.64 megabytes down on each of the devices. Now ping was a little higher on the iPhone 4, but basically it is all the same. Now if I run speed test on my Mac, I usually get 12 down and 0.64 megabytes up. So, you know, this is just to show that the Wi-Fi antennas are basically on par with each other. Now we're going to go into settings, then Safari on each of the phones, clear history. Then we're going to clear cookies and data. Now we're going to open up Safari. Now we're going to run a Sun Spider test on all the phones and this is going to run tests with JavaScript and it's going to try out the JavaScript push drain on that as well as some of the other graphics performance that the iPhones would go through. So I'm going to go ahead and run these. This should take a little longer and I'll just come back with the results. So the Sun Spider test is now finished on all the devices. The iPhone finished first, second, and third in that order. And now the results are different across all the iPhones. So on the 4, we have 
2949. On the 4S, we have 1730. And on the iPhone 5, we have 912. So some of the tests that were performed with the SunSpider test was 3D, Axis, and a bunch of other tests. So that's going to conclude our testing, benchmarking, and speed testing on the iPhone on the iPhone 4, the iPhone 4s, and the iPhone 5. Now this was a war between them, and obviously the iPhone 5 took it. And second place goes to the iPhone 4s, and third, finally, the iPhone 4. Now I got the Geekbench scores all up again. You can really see the difference on all of these devices. The iPhone 5 is going to oust all the previous iPhones in every way. And the iPhone 4 is going to be just behind, behind the iPhone 5. And the iPhone 4 is going to be just under the iPhone 4S. Now these are all great phones. Uh, however, in terms of hardware, you know, this is what you're going to get. And this is really going to reflect. This is, however, a real world accurate test between all of these iPhones. So hopefully this helps you out a lot. I'm Commander Tech. Feel free to subscribe for more videos about the iPhone 5 and other battles between phones as well as reviews, overviews, unboxings, and a lot more videos about the latest technology. Once again, I'm Commander Tech and I am signing out.